Wickham. This is Jennifer Latifa, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be showing you counterfeit bottles, fake bottles of Tom Ford, Parfums de Marly, Chanel, Molecule 01, and Baccarat Rouge 540. So please stay tuned. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay around, hang around, and let's get started. So the first bottle that I'm going to show you is a fake bottle of, the difference between the fake bottles, bottles of Molecule 01. Here's a fake bottle of Molecule 01. Be careful always when you're buying a tester, obviously because half the time ugh, they are fake. Okay, so it's got a little atomizer, a little ring around it. And here's the difference between the real one. You can just tell by the fatness of the real one on the atomizer. And even like this is more printed, you can tell the purple more in this one than you can in this one. But the tall tail sign really is the atomizer. The Molecule 1 one will always be thick and fat, whereas this one is just kind of, you can see here that it's crimped around and just cheap. And while they do, obviously Molecule 01 is not hard to, you know, dupe as far as the scent goes, but This one you can still smell, oh, it does smell a little bit different, but they are nearly the same. But of course, when you have a fake bottle, you don't know what's inside. So that's the first one, Molecule One. The second one I'm going to show you, first of all, it will be Tom Ford. And there, I have one big one, one small one, but I'm just gonna show you the tall tale sign that you have a fake bottle of Tom Ford. So here's a real bottle of Tom Ford. Here's a fake bottle of Tom Ford. You can tell just even by the printing here and the sticker is cheap. Here's the tall tail sign. Inside the cap, it has a plastic piece around the real bottles. The fake bottles don't have that plastic thing around there and you can just tell in general that the gold color is a little off this one uh, maybe you may not be able to tell with the light sorry about that and the ring light but it's upside down like I say that tall tail sign is the inside of the cap okay now the next one I'm going to show you is Chanel. The most famous fake bottles. Don't buy them off of eBay unless it's a trusted seller and they have 30 day money back guarantee. So I'm gonna show you two different bottles because I don't have the exact same one because I have a different, well, here's the fake bottle, the Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum. Okay, now just look at it. You can just tell already that that's fake, just the cheap sticker that's on there. And here's a real bottle, okay? I'm gonna show you where you can really know. Do you see here there's etched in a code? This code is going to match, I'm sorry for all the fingerprints, but there'll be a code etched in the bottom that's going to match the code on the bottom of the box that you receive it in. And this one has no code, nothing etched in. And that's not the only point because they can etch it in and I have seen great fake Chanel bottles, but that code will match the one on the box. The next one I'm going to show you is a fake bottle of Parfums de Marly Safanade. 
And I don't have the other saponade yet because I'm going to return this one and then get the real bottle, inshallah. But let me just show you. Here's my real bottle of Delina Exclusive. I think the um, Perfumes de Marley probably is the only one that can get these type of tassels. And look at the way that they're like braided. Now here's the fake bottle of Saffinade and it's just so clear it's fake. I mean, look at this. It's like yarn and it's not even good. Look at the tassels. It's just horrid, it's horrible. And the dipstick is not invisible. Perfumes de Marley's dipsticks are invisible. The sticker's off. It's just, this one's a really bad fake. Look at those tassels, like, I mean, come on. What is it, a trash bag you're gonna have it wrapped around? You see that difference? That's how you'll always know, because if it doesn't have this type and they're like this on all of them, obviously in different colors, but with this braiding right here and the way that this is very tight here, that's a tall tale sign and the invisible di dipstick. But you have a fake bottle of Parfums de Marly. Now, coming up on the last and final one is the uh, Francis de Kirkshans Baccarat Rouge 540. Here's my fake bottle, okay? Here's the real bottle. First of all, it's a little bit more round and thick. The real bottle has this etched in the back, whereas this fake one does not. And like this cap is just flimsy and it's all bad. No invisible dipstick, you know, the dipstick, you can see it. Whereas the Perfumes de Marley, it's got an invisible dipstick. Now, I have a friend who had also gotten a, a fake bottle, bottle of Perfumes de Marley, but she had this etched in the back. So the, um, upon more discovery, the t one of the very tall tell signs is um, the way that the J is in Kirkshawn. In the real bottle, look at the J. Let me get it to focus. The J does not have like a hook at the end of it on the real bottle. This fake bottle, let me get it to focus, I'm sorry, has that hook, if you can tell. So that's like the tall tale sign, even if you do have the etching in the back, if you see that loop on the bottom of the J, I want it to focus, then you know you got a fake bottle. You see even the cap fell off. And even just look at the atomizer difference. It's just, this was a really bad fake. Always that clamped around on the atomizer. I mean, awful, just awful. And the inside of this cap is like, you see, they don't ever do detail inside the cap to keep it on extra tight normally, at least in my experience from the bottles that I have. But this is the real bottle. You see the difference? Okay, real fake. I mean. So, I really hope that that helps you to find a real bottle and if you think you have a fake um hopefully this will show you if you do or you do not have a fake and if you have any questions please go ahead and leave them in the comments and i will get back to them at my earliest convenience or you can message me on my instagram where i respond even quicker which my instagram will be linked below and i thank you for everything and i hope you enjoyed the video Again, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope all is well. Take care and stay blessed.